हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पीआईपी 247 मैं हूं मनीष मिश्रा एंड इन दिस सेशन आई विल ब्रिंग टू यू फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द पीआईपी न्यूज़ दिस सेशन गाइस इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर वेरियस गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम्स एंड स्पेशली फॉर ईएसआई सेक्शन ऑफ आरबीआई ग्रेड बी सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन बट इफ यू आर न्यू हियर डू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन एंड आल्सो यू कैन जॉइन दिस टेलीग्राम ग्रुप फॉर डेली क्विजेस एंड अपडेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द डेली सेशंस ऑलराइट एंड लेट्स बिगिन विद द very first question which is about the swachhta awards that have been given to some districts so how many districts have won the swachhta awards for making significant contribution towards odf sustainability and odf plus goals now what is this odf so i hope you all must know that odf stands for open defecation free all right it stands for open defecation free okay and what about odf plus so ye odf plus ka matlab kya hai so guys it is basically an extension of odf program which was under the of course swachh bharat mission odf plus is an extension of odf program and it focuses on the sustainability of odf villages aise villages jo odf achieve kar chuke hain unki sustainability bani rahe and to take up the solid and liquid waste management all right the basic objective of this odf plus is to maintain the sustainability of odf and to take up the solid and liquid waste management and it has odf plus has four verticals and which are these four verticals biodegradable waste management <coughs> plastic waste management then we have grey water management and then finally number four fecal sludge management all right so these are the four verticals of odf plus and odf plus basically is the extension of odf program which is which has the objective to sustain the achievement of odf and uh, you know to take up the solid and liquid waste management okay and now we swachhta awards have been given by the ministry of jal shakti to the 20 best districts of india okay these aise districts in india ke jinko ye swachhta awards diye gaye hain by the ministry of jal shakti which is of course is headed by gajendra singh shekhawat and can you tell me his lok sabha constituency write down in the comments i have told you many times so this ministry is headed by mr gajendra singh shekhawat and 20 best performing districts have been given this award swachhta uh, by the ministry of jal shakti and these are the 20 best awarded districts aur inka naam aapko yaad rakhne ki koi zarurat nahi hai no one will ask about the names of the district it is just for the basic information so west godavari and east godavari from andhra pradesh then we have siam in arunachal pradesh then kankar and bamedra in chatisgarh vadodara and rajkot gujarat diwani and diwali in haryana Ernakulam and Bainar in Kerala, Kolapur and Nashik in Maharashtra, Kolasib and Sarchik in Mizoram. Then we have Mogha and Patehgarh Sahib from Punjab, Siddhi Pet and Petapalli from Telangana, and there is one district from West Bengal that is Kutch Bihar. Okay, so these are the 20 districts that have been awarded Swachhta Awards by the Ministry of Jal Shakti. All right. So therefore, guys, now you can easily answer this question. Option B, 20, will be the correct answer. 20 districts have won this awards now question number 2 recently an mou has been signed between invest india and dash for supporting and developing mutual business cooperation between india and luxembourg luxembourg or india ki jo companies hai unke beech mein mutual business cooperation ko support karne ke liye this mou has been signed between invest india and a company from luxembourg okay so you have to identify this company from luxembourg so can you identify write down in the comments So these are the three MOUs that have been signed between India and Luxembourg. So there, there was a virtual summit, and this summit is the first ever summit between India and Luxembourg. And this was held between Prime Minister of India, of course, Narendra Modi, and his counterpart Xavier Bettel. Xavier Bettel is the Prime Minister of Luxembourg. So in both of them, this uh, virtual summit was held. And remember, it is the first ever summit between India and Luxembourg. And in this summit. these three uh, mous have been signed first uh, first mou is between the india international exchange and luxembourg stock exchange that is for cooperation in the financial services industry financial services industry mein cooperate karne ke liye this mou has been signed between india international exchange and luxembourg stock exchange and for the same objective that is for cooperation in the financial services sector one more mou has been signed between SBI and Luxembourg Stock Exchange. SBI or Luxembourg Stock Exchange में same objective के लिए एक और MOU साइन हुआ है and there is one more MOU that is between the Invest India and Lux Innovation. Okay, the name of the company is what? Lux Innovation that is to promote the mutual business cooperation between Indians and Luxembourg companies. 
इंडिया और लक्जमबर्ग की कंपनीज के बीच में म्यूचुअल बिजनेस कोऑपरेशन को प्रमोट करने के लिए दिस एमओयू इज साइन बिटवीन इन्वेस्ट इंडिया एंड लक्स इनोवेशन ओके सो देयरफॉर द करेक्ट आंसर शुड बी व्हाट ऑप्शन सी लक्स इनोवेशन ओके एंड नाउ लेट्स कम टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 हु हैज वन द बटायन लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड फॉर कंट्रीब्यूशन इन पोएट्री एंड अदर लिटरेरी वर्क्स गिवन बाय बटायन व्हिच इज अ लंडन बेस्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन <clears throat> so this battalion guys it is a london based organization and every year battalion international awards all right battalion international awards have been given by this organization for those uh, who are very good poets who are very good writers who are very good artists in their respective fields okay poets writers or artists ko unke respective fields mein excellence ke liye this award uh, have been given <coughs> every year by battalion which is a london based organization and this year This award has been given to Dr. Ramesh Pokhariyal Nishan. Dr. Ramesh Pokhariyal Nishan, and we all know who is Dr. Ramesh Pokhariyal Nishan. He is the Education Minister of our country, and he has written various books like "Sapne Jo Sone Na De," "Sapne Jo Sone Na De," "The Dreams That uh, That Don't Let You Sleep," "Sapne Jo Sone Na De." Then we have one more book, "Koi Mushkil Nahi," "No Difficulty" in English. कोई मुश्किल नहीं सो दीज आर सम बुक्स दैट हैव बीन रिटन बाय डॉक्टर रमेश पोखरियाल निशंक एंड फॉर हिज लिटरेरी कंट्रीब्यूशन दिस अवार्ड हैज बीन गिवन टू एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर ऑफ आवर कंट्री दैट इज रमेश पोखरियाल निशंक ऑप्शन ई हियर विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर एंड इसमें इस इससे ज्यादा आपको पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है दैट इज दैट इज मोर देन इनफ इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर यू इससे ज्यादा पढ़ने की देयर इज नो नीड नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच इंटरनेशनल बैंक और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज साइंड अ लोन एग्रीमेंट ऑफ यूएस डॉलर 500 मिलियन With government of India for financing Delhi Metro Regional Rapid Transit System, and this Regional Rapid Transit System is nothing but a metro. ये एक metro ही है और कुछ नहीं है. वैसे इसका नाम अलग सा रखा हुआ है Regional Rapid Transit System, जो कि Delhi और Meerut के बीच में बनाई जा रही है. We all know. इससे पहले Asian Development Bank ने ने इसमें कुछ loan दिया था. Now New Development Bank has also provided some uh, 500 million dollar का loan to this project. So this uh, bank is uh, New Development Bank. Which I can also say BRICS Bank, New Development Bank or BRICS Bank, we can say. So this <coughs> loan agreement has been signed between various agencies. First, we have Government of India. Then we have Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, that is headed by Hardeep Singh Puri. And Hardeep Singh Puri is of course the Minister of Minister of Civil Aviation, National Capital Region, Transport Corporation Limited, and the New Development Bank. So in four of the beach, me, this loan agreement signed was worth 500 million US dollar. Okay. and this loan is of course for delhi meerut regional rapid regional transit system project aur ye jo loan hai iska tenure is how much 25 years with 8 years of grace period okay the total uh, you know uh, duration of the loan is 25 years with a 8 years of moratorium period and talking about the total project cost so the total project cost guys of this project is 3749 million and out of this total project cost ndb will provide US dollar 500 million Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank will provide US dollar 500 million Asian Development Bank will provide 1049 million US dollars Japan Fund for Poverty Reduction will provide US dollar 3 million and government and other sources hame kitna milega 1707 million okay so this is the bifurcation of total project cost and you have to remember this because that's very important project NDB 500 million Asian Infrastructure Bank Investment Bank 500 million. Then we have Asian Development Bank 1049 million dollars. Japan Fund for Poverty Reduction 3 million US dollars. And government and other sources say कितना मिलेगा 707 million dollars. Okay. So therefore the correct answer to this question should be what option A New Development Bank. And talking about these banks and their heads. So New Development Bank is headed by Marcus Marcus Prado Trojo. Marcus Prado Trojo. He is from Brazil. He is from Brazil. Then we have Asian Development Bank, Masatsugu Asagawa, Masatsugu Asagawa from Japan. He is from Japan. And World Bank, of course, David Malpas. David Malpas is from America, United States of America. Then we have European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde. Christine Lagarde. She is from France. Okay. And then finally we have. IMF Kristalina Georgieva Kristalina Georgieva is the chief of IMF and she is from Bulgaria Okay so these are the uh, heads of these banks these international banks and organization okay 
and here the correct answer is what option a new development bank and now let's move on to the next question so the ministry of housing and urban affairs has launched a challenge focusing on eliminating the manual scavenging and mechanizing the cleaning process of septic tanks and sewers okay so you have to name this challenge this challenge ko launch kiya gaya hai to mechanize the cleaning process of septic tanks and sewers and to completely eliminate the manual scavenging process okay वैसे अकॉर्डिंग टू अकॉर्डिंग टू जो मैनुअल स्केवेंजिंग है दैट इज प्रोहिबिटेड इन इंडिया अनलेस की कोई एक्सेप्शनल कंडीशन ना हो बट स्टिल देर आर वेरियस केसेस ऑफ मैनुअल स्केवेंजिंग इन अवर कंट्री सो टू एलिमिनेट दो केसेस आल्सो यू नो दिस चैलेंज हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस चैलेंज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द नेम ऑफ द चैलेंज इज व्हाट सफाई मित्र सुरक्षा चैलेंज ओके व्हाट इज द नेम सफाई मित्र सुरक्षा चैलेंज एंड इट हैज बीन launched by the ministry of housing and urban affairs under the swachh bharat abhiyan and this challenge focuses on preventing hazardous cleaning of septic tanks and sewers and promoting their mechanized cleaning all right and this challenge will take place in 243 cities in our country hamare desh mein 243 cities mein is challenge ko update uh, kiya jayega and the target date to achieve the challenge is what 30th april 2021 and the results will be announced on 15th august of 2021 and jo total prize hoga that will be given uh, how much should be 52 crore cash prize and there will be three category awards to the states first of all state with population more than 10 lakhs then we have states with population between 3 and 10 lakhs then we have states with population up to 3 lakhs okay so teen category mein award diya jayega under the safai mitra suraksha challenge that is to eliminate the manual scavenging and to mechanize the cleaning of septic tanks and sewers okay so that's said about this news let's move on to the question so you have to name the challenge so the name of the challenge is what safai mitra suraksha option b will be the correct answer all right and guys that's it for the session i hope everything is clear every news is clear and every question is clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless